The musical year is getting closer and this made me think on how I started back in 2004 through 2009 in Odessa Telecommunication State Academy and how I used every reasonable way to earn money while still excelling at my studying. Today we are here at my home university where I studied from the age of 16, that's when children graduate high school here in Ukraine. At least that's when they graduated back in 2004, now it takes two years more and it sucks. And till the age of 20. Normally students study till they are 21 and that's when they graduate from the university here, but I started my school earlier and graduated earlier. And while I'll take you through the tour on my home university ground, I will take talk about different side hustles that I had and hopefully they will be applicable in your case. I was on a student allowance from the state and because of my excellent grades and results I got even a higher allowance that was normally provided for all the rest of the students who were on that allowance. However, it was never enough for me as I've always tried to find ways to earn more money than I had and I was always on the lookout for intellectual ways of earning. First, because I didn't want to get distracted much from my studies, because my university is this, university was a tech one and it was very hard to study here. And second, because I have figured out pretty fast that I'm not a physical type of person, I'm not suited for physical type of work, unfortunately, so I had to use my brain and whatever skills I had. And I figured out how. See this door? This is the tiny university library that we had. No computers at that time and still, I'm pretty much sure, just rows of books with formulas and students occupying each free desk, gathering in groups, studying independently, etc. Library was often the only place where you could find necessarily all the necessary formulas and data for your calculations, which were numerous. Which is why the first side hustle that I had was solving someone else's tasks, coursework, diplomas, etc. I was great at higher mathematics and I was proposed of being paid by lazier students to do the course works for them. Whilst some might say that it's not fair, I would say it didn't help much to those who didn't study, because besides the written part of the project, they had to defend themselves verbally, being asked by a lecturer all types of questions. And there were other situations where, when people had to work to have something to eat and did not have the time to study very hard, like I did. I was lucky to be able to live with the parents till graduation, till my almost 21 years old. But there were other situations and I literally helped people to survive another semester. Some might disapprove, but this side hustle exists and successfully so in pretty much every university. When you have templates for each diploma, it takes less and less time and effort to help people shape their works. And another benefit, you get better at your own studying by doing so. The next side hustle I had was teaching offline and online. I was doing so offline because we had fewer opportunities back in 2004. Currently, you can do it online. Teach either your fellow classmates or younger children who need tutorship on topics that you have already mastered. For me, it was English and German lessons and sometimes math. And by teaching, I earned the most out of all the other student hustles that I had. Totally recommend this one. And bonus is you will get better in your subject as you teach others. The next is writing articles for online magazines and resources. It was harder in my time. There weren't many, but it must be easier for you with resources like Medium and freelancing platforms like Fiverr and others. You can watch my video here, an awful one, but you will find a list of websites there. However, I managed to secure even one constant customer and I wrote articles for that customer on political systems and religion and society. It was something I was good at and I hope I am still today and I even asked one of my relatives to contribute and helped her make some extra cash as well. The fourth is participating in pet university ventures. Like in my case, I was a presenter on a local TV channel for about half a year. It, its premises were here on this floor in the main building of our university. It gave me confidence and helped me to understand the world of video production a little better, though I never thought I'd even start my own channel. I never heard about YouTube back in those days and it wasn't widely known for sure, it only started in 2005 as a dating site, remember? After that, I was offered a pet internship in a big local telecommunication company and even one day at that company, when they evaluated whether or not the student fitted, boosted my professional vision a lot. They loved me and took me on board the same day, but it was a full-time job and I still had 
two, two years uh, to study at the university and I just didn't take the offer. Nowadays, there might be online university activities where you can participate while you study and maybe even make some cash, as I did. Now, not all of these are businesses, as most times it's trading your time for money, but I consider this to be pretty nice side hustles if you are a student and don't want to get distracted much from your studies. Nowadays, students have so much more opportunities than we old timers had. Here are some additional things to consider if you want to evaluate which side business you could start as a student or as an adult. And don't forget there is a list of 30 more businesses you can start, all the links are in the description below. Some modern easy to do things are voiceovers at resources like Fiverr, Voice Bunny and others, copywriting, selling things online on local stores, Amazon, eBay, anywhere cleaning, babysitting, catering, etc. Just stop and think what it is that can bring you money today. Because if you're a student, you need money today. And whilst blogging might be fun and you can do so at your leisure time, but it won't pay back in a short term, in a near perspective. In my days, my fellow students donated blood for free and for money worked in the university tech labs as laboratory assistants and my fancy started his employment record by working in the construction at the age of 18 very hard labor indeed so the options are numerous it's only about your desire to work hard and study hard just make sure your work doesn't hurt your studies because otherwise it doesn't make sense Hope you liked the tour on my home university premises. Sorry I couldn't get to all the places and classrooms to show you all the labs that we had. It was nice to roll 15 years back. Crazy! I started here 15 years ago. I am as old as a dirt. Let me know if you want to see more of such styled videos. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you still haven't and click on the notification bell for more business-related videos. I was happy to, he to be here again after so many years, happy to share my joy with you and would love to see you next week in my next video. Say hi in the comments and talk to you next Tuesday. Bye!